Public swimming pools and splash pads play a crucial role during times of extreme heat. Here in Blaisdell tonight, I spoke with several people giving a voice to parents about their concerns for their children's safety, along with a couple of kids playing basketball as the mercury gets ready to soar into the 90s. It was a little hot when the summer was out and it's been humid today, I feel like. Staying cool for the summer felt like a tough task Monday. Just uh, getting in the water best, uh, anywhere we can where it's available, um, staying hydrated um, and staying out of the sun. Baby's second summer wasn't too hot to handle. She loves it. Uh, outside, as soon as she can, as soon as she's up, she's outside. Orchard Park resident Josh Sislica and his family are on their second splash pad of the day, trying to keep cool as best they can. Their first stop was in West Seneca before coming to the Blaisdell splash pad. She likes to go back and forth, really? which is a lot like the West Seneca one and the Blaisdell one both have that. The same goes for families at Yates Park in the town of Orchard Park. Kids love it, just running around, um, jumping in the water. Get outside as much as possible, stay in the shade, really come to take advantage of uh, the park here at Green Lake, the splash pad, the beach. Mostly staying under the air conditioner. I waited a little while before we came out. I let it cool off a little bit. And while some beat the heat with water, others take advantage of the park with a game of ball. We like beat the heat by like just drinking a lot of water, staying hydrated and stuff stuff like that.